just rolling it up and throwing it. So I'm just rolling it and throwing it. Ugh, can't tell, but. Okay. So yeah, so you're just gonna going to roll and sew it together and it's gonna look like this. You can see it. Okay, so once you have your piece of hair sewn, then you just flip it over and then you just um, spread it. So it kind of looks like a, a spider. And uh, then you take your flat iron and you put um, your spider in between. And then you just squeeze it, and press down for a little bit, and see what that does is that melts the bottom of it, see, and it flattens it out, and then in the middle it just looks like the top of your hair. It doesn't you can't really see anything. So, and then you can just take your flat iron and then go ahead and just straighten the pieces that are sticking up like so and that is what we're going to use to close the top of your hair so now you're going to take your hair glue and on the bottom of the, the spider where you where it's melted you're just going to put a little bit of glue there little glue. and right where that hole is there you're going to place it on top so Go ahead and place it on top of the hole and then press down for a little bit. This is what it looks like on the top here with the closure on there or the spider. So it looks, it blends really well and it looks really good. Okay, so now you can take the clips out and then um, Go ahead and just comb your hair. Your hair straight forward and like that. And then you can go ahead and you can part your hair where you want it to be parted. Because you want to make sure it's parted the way you like because you're going to be cutting your hair and you want to make sure that it's how you want it. So once you do that, then you can go ahead and put your clips back in. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start cutting. Um, just take your clips off your side, and then go ahead and pull apart the amount that you want to cut. I think I'm going to cut about this much here. Oops. And then take the rest of your hair and then just pull it to the other side, like so. And go ahead and flat iron that little part so that it's nice and straight when you get ready to cut it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of my hair first. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my things. I'm going to angle the scissors this way and kind of cut down so just kind of lightly cut just cut as you're moving down like that See? so you have like a little angle and then put it together and follow the last part where you cut and then just cut the rest of the hair like so. so it's got like a little angle to it you know um i'm probably gonna cut mine a little shorter here so i think i'm gonna cut it a little shorter okay so go ahead and comb your hair and see if everything is even now right there i'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little There we go. So now it should be how I want it to be. Okay. 
Now that takes care of this side. Okay, now take the clip off the other side and comb it. Now you're pretty much going to do the same thing on um, that you did on this side to that side. Go ahead and take a little part of the hair that you want. But I always just make it like a smaller section. And then go ahead and start cutting the hair down. Okay, like so. Okay, so I put a little makeup on and <laughs> I put my contacts in um, because I wanted to show you guys like how it looks all together. Um, I'm really satisfied with it. Um, I like the layers in it. Um, that's why I always choose 18 inch, um, 14 inch, and 10 inch because you can really see the layers and you don't really have to, to cut it or chop it up. So yeah um i hope this helped you guys um i'll be um uploading more videos on um a couple hairstyles that i do um with my extensions so um thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you guys soon <laughs>